Bloomberg reports that Tesla's new batteries mean more control of cell supply chain. This morning, Bloomberg has very interesting two reports about Tesla's 4680 battery cells. The first was about Panasonic retooling the facility in Wakayama, Japan to start the production of Tesla's 4680 batteries. And about the meantime, Tesla, Bloomberg had another report saying Tesla's new batteries mean more control of cell supply chain. Welcome back, dear friends. This this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you guys are here first time, please subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up, like this video. We would greatly appreciate to stay in touch for daily breaking Tesla news. So whenever Tesla reports earnings, it's a bit of a mad scramble, says Bloomberg, for me and my colleagues here at Bloomberg, says the reporter. But once the dust settles, I like to go back and read over the transcript of the earnings call for nuanced points that I may have not fully appreciated. Case in point, Tesla's 46AD battery cells. In 2020, Tesla made the big news announcing the larger 4680 battery cells. Tesla is producing these on a pilot line on Cato Road in Fremont, California, but also plans to procure them from longtime suppliers like Panasonic, the battery maker, on Wednesday announced, like I said, plans. Today announced the plans to start prototype production of the 4680 battery early this year at a facility in Japan, Western Wakai. Yama Prefecture. Making automotive grade battery cells at consistently high volume and quality is no small feat and Tesla's foray into battery cell production is another sign of how critical vertical integration is to its overall strategy. In the third quarter earnings release in October, Tesla said that the 46 AD in-house cell project continues to progress. We are producing an increasing number of battery packs for testing purposes and so far the test results meet our current expectations, said uh, Tesla. That sounded promising but it was clear that volume production remained a work in progress. Then last week, Drew Baglino, Tesla's senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering and companies, de facto chief technology officer, provided a significant update. He said, so throughout 2021, we focused on growing cell supply alongside our in-house 46AD effort to provide us flexibility and insurance as we attempt to grow as fast as possible, Baglino said during the earnings call. We are making meaningful progress of the ramp curve in Cato. We're building 46 AD structural packs every day, which are being assembled into vehicles in Texas. I was driving one yesterday and the day before, and we believe our first 46 AD vehicles will be delivered this quarter. End of the quote. The first vehicle to be made at the company's plant in Austin, Texas will be the Model Y. And it sounds like the first Model Ys with the 4680 batteries will be delivered by the end of March. It's not clear if the first Model Y cars with 4680 cells are the ones made in Fremont or from outside suppliers or both. But Tesla's efforts to exert more control over its battery supply give the company a leg up over legacy automakers. Tesla remains the leader of the multi-decade secular transition to electric vehicles, said analyst Dan Levi of Credit Suisse in a note to clients Monday. With less questions around demand and much more questions around the supply of electric vehicles, Tesla should be a key beneficiary. It has a product lead versus others and has taken the most holistic approach on electric vehicle supplies. So friends, very interesting things. Tesla is going to use its batteries to get more key advantage over its uh, control uh, and, and control over its cell supply chain, which is not the case with legacy automakers. So what do you think about all these developments and Panasonic joining Tesla to building 4680 batteries? I think in the next couple of months, we may have the first Tesla vehicles running with 
4680 batteries the question for me since there are so many promises about the 4680 batteries how the tesla specs will change will we see tesla adding maybe another 100 mile to each range or dropping the price down because like i said in my previous report about uh, 4680 batteries because they are bigger more less and fewer materials are needed to build them therefore the price has come needs to come down like i said in my per earlier report the 4680 batteries are two that as key to cheaper electric vehicles so what do you think how do you think teslas will change running with 4680 batteries this is armin harayan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel give us thumbs up like this video share in social media i would greatly appreciate guys that helps a lot and let's move on to our next tesla story and i'll look forward to reading your comments in the comment section below breaking news day. everyone this morning about panasonic and tesla's 4680 battery production panasonic is going to start production of tesla's championed 4680 batteries and you know that next generation 4680 batteries are tooted as key to cheaper electric vehicles and panasonic according to bloomberg is renovating facility outside of osaka for production well it's about time we start the mass production of 4680 batteries bringing more range more power density and hopefully change the specs of tesla vehicles so i'm going to tell you all about this report now in details this is armin harayan welcome back dear friends from torquenews.com so please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking tesla news and also give us thumbs up if you like this video panasonic bloomberg reports is renovating a facility in japan to start testing mass production of a new type of lithium ion battery that's championed by tesla meaning the 4680 batteries as the key to unlocking cheaper electric vehicles Panasonic will start prototype production of a next generation 4680 battery early this year at a facility in Japan's western Wakayama prefecture. Chief Financial Officer Hirokazu Umeda said Wednesday at a briefing on the company's quarterly financial results. The Wakayama facility will first be used for pilot production of the 4680 battery cells after various tests a mass production line will be newly installed likely also in wakayama umeda said separately Panasonic posted an operating profit of 73 billion yen, which is 640 million US dollars for the recently added, uh, ended quarter, um, falling short of analysts' average forecast of 107 uh, billion yen versus 73, uh, as its consumer electronics business was hit by increased material prices. The 4680 batteries, named after their dimensions of a 46 millimeter diameter, and 80 millimeter height hold more than five times the capacity of the smaller 1865 and 2170 battery cells Panasonic currently supplies to Tesla. This means that fewer battery cells and related parts are needed in an electric vehicle which in turn has the potential to lower its overall cost and make uh, affordable electric vehicles available and accessible for mass production. The 4680 battery was first unveiled by Elon Musk, Tesla's chief executive officer, at an event in 2020. Elon Musk tooted the batteries as a massive breakthrough in cell technology that will make it possible for his company to produce electric vehicles that sell for $25,000. While Tesla plans to make the sales in-house also, like at Giga Berlin and Giga Factory Texas, it has asked Panasonic to begin producing them as well. The Japanese company has said it will seek to sell the batteries to electric vehicle makers other than just Tesla. For now, with regard to 4680 batteries, Panasonic is receiving strong requests from Tesla, Umeda said Wednesday. We'll first prioritize supplying Tesla once the verifications are complete, he said. Analysts had cautioned that the new 4680 battery cells could prove difficult to mass produce given that their size can lead to safety issues such as overheating, Bloomberg reports. Umeda said Wednesday the company's initial tests resulted in a performance-satisfying prototype of the new cell. 
the electronics maker's decision to designate a domestic site, domestic factory or facility for its 4680 battery cell production comes after its struggle to expand production at the Gigafactory plant in jointly operates with Tesla in Nevada. The 46AD production site is closer to Panasonic's corporate headquarters in Osaka, allowing it to easily dispatch veteran engineers to fine-tune its new machinery. Battery rivals such as LG Energy Solution and Contemporary Amperex Technology are also stepping up investment to beef up their capacity compared with other EV battery heavyweights. Panasonic has been slow to build scale, instead tooting the safety advantage of its batteries and stressing that it prioritizes profit over market share, reports Bloomberg. This is very exciting news, friends. I think it's about time that we see the 46AD batteries in mass production for Tesla, so Tesla can bring them into its newer vehicles and also um, work, uh, go ahead with the $25,000 affordable car. So a lot of information. Let me know, friends, your thoughts. What do you think about all of these developments? I will look forward to hearing your comments in the comment section below. Please like this video and give us thumbs up if you find this report interesting. Share in social media. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking Tesla news. God bless you everyone. Peace be with all of you and let's move on to our next Tesla story.